Hello everyone, Dallin here from No Contract VoIP, and today I'm going to show you the basics of uh, when to reboot your modem. So, uh, not all every modem, not all modems look the same, but uh, they're all very similar. Uh, so they all have a console of lights on the front and a bunch of cords that plug into the back. Some modems have uh, lights and labels, while other modems just use symbols, almost like pictographs to show you what the lights represent. Our modem here has power, USDS, online, 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz. Whenever you call into tech support, they're gonna always ask you what the lights are on the modem. Now, this is important because uh, each light represents something very important to the modem working. The power, obviously, it represents whether the modem even has power or not. Your modem can't work if it doesn't have power. So if the power light's not lit, most likely none of the lights are lit. Here the modem is unplugged, someone kicked the power, tripped a breaker, you have a power outage. So if the power light is not on, your modem's not working. Next, you got your USDS light. On our modem here, the USDS light is blinking, which is normally a bad thing. USDS stands for upstream and downstream. Sometimes this is actually split into two different lights, and when it is, it normally has a box with an arrow pointing up out of it and an arrow pointing down into the other one. That's for upstream and downstream. This represents whether your modem can speak to the cable company and whether the cable company can speak back to it. So when the cable company can't talk to your modem, your USDA, your USDS light starts blinking and you got no internet. Next, you got your online light. That represents whether your modem thinks that it can connect to the internet or not. Uh, sometimes the online light will have just a globe or maybe a heartbeat symbol like on an EKG machine. Next, we got our 2.4 and our 5 gigahertz lights. Those represent the internal radio built into the modem for Wi-Fi. Uh, if those are lit up, then that means that Wi-Fi is working on your modem. Now, on the back of the modem, we have the Ethernet ports. This modem has four Ethernet ports, meaning it has a built-in router. Other modems will only have one Ethernet port, and they want you to connect it to your own router, like we have here. Next, we have the coax connector, which goes off to the cable company. You'll always be able to tell it because it'll have a screw-on metal connector, so you can't just pull that cord out. you got to unscrew it from the back of the modem. Finally, you got your power cord. This one has just a straight power cord. There's nothing on it. Other modems may have a power supply in between where it connects to the modem and where it plugs into the wall. Some modems will even have a battery backup built into the modem. You'll have to somehow figure out how to disconnect that battery backup to reboot the modem. Now, since we have a blinking USDS light, we're gonna wanna go ahead and reboot or power cycle this modem. To do that, all you do is you unplug the power, Wait about five or 10 seconds, and then you plug it back in. Tech support will tell you to wait about a minute, but realistically, five or 10 seconds is all you really need. Okay. And once you plug it back in, the lights will go through their whole boot up process. So they'll kind of be irrelevant for the next maybe three minutes or so, and then we'll check back on it. Okay, so it's been about three minutes and the modem has gone through most of its boot up process. You can see now that the USDS light has gone solid and the online light is blinking. And if we just give it a moment here, that online light should sync up back with the services back at the internet service provider, and it will know that it has, there we go, we have internet. So a simple reboot fixed our problem. If rebooting did not, get the USDS light to go solid and it's still blinking for you, then normally you have an internet outage. You can call your internet provider to find out any information about it, but there's not really much you can do about it. Well, I hope this, been, this has been informative for you. If it has, please hit that like button, consider subscribing, and if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. I've been Dallin with No Contract VoIP, and I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.